Hello. Uh, this is a video where I'm going to be talking about um, a question that I get asked so, so much um, by my friends and, and it's a question I see a lot being asked uh, on the internet. And that is, should I choose A-level maths? Uh, just a quick side note before we start off. This is most, this is pertinent only to the old spec of A-level maths because quite frankly I have no idea what's going to be in, in the next one. Um, but I, I think for the most part it, it should be okay um, in, this, in the sense that maths doesn't really seem to change that much. It's probably going to get harder but that's just speculation on my part. I think it might also be worth um, first asking why do A-level maths? Well, it is almost um, the most respected um, A-level, probably alongside physics um, and maybe history, in my opinion. Um, it is an A-level which can be used to apply for any degree subject. Um, it's respected right from law to the sciences to stuff like you know, art. Um, and the reason it's so respected is because people know it's a tricky A-level. Um, that being said, though, it is always going to be much better to get a an A in something like... I don't, I don't want to stag off anyone's uh, A-level subjects, but it's always going to be better to get an A in um, business studies than it is to get a D in maths. And the reason for that is because if you get a D in maths, it looks like you haven't tried. However, it's not all doom and gloom. It's not that hard a subject if you're the right person for it. And you can find out whether or not you're the right person for it by looking at some of these questions. First off, let's consider what you've got at GCSE Maths. Uh, my sick form, only that you do AS Maths if you get a B or higher uh, at GCSE. In my personal opinion, you should not do A-level Maths if you've got to be in GCSE Maths. To some extent, I think even if you get an A at GCSE Maths, um, A-level Maths can be a real struggle. And I'll explain why. People often talk about the jump from GCSE to A-level. But with, with A-level Maths, with AS Maths, in particular, it's very, very big a jump. And the reason for that is because in the very first module of AS, they start off at A star at GCSE. If you start off at a B grade at GCSE and then go on to AS Maths, you were going up by two grades already. Now there is an exception to this. Maybe you have the passion or the desire for retribution. That sounds really dramatic, but what I'm trying to get across by that is you have the desire to, um, after getting a, a B at GCSE, or to some extent an A, um, you have the desire in your own time to learn up to a, a GCSE uh, A-star standard. Um, and this is advice I would give to people who are in like the two weeks um, between getting your results and starting AS levels. Go on Hegarty Maths, go to the GCSE section, learn all of the bits of the GCSE course you didn't get right in the exam. Then take a GCSE exam. If you get an A star, good. You're at the level you need to be for um, A level maths. Um, but I'll, I'll go on to some more specifics later. Another thing you need to consider is do you want to do the applied module uh, that they offer you at school? Um, there are three applied modules which are taken generally. Uh, those are S1, M1 and D1. S1 statistics, M is mechanics and D1 is decision. If you really, really liked um, statistics at GCSE, you might like it at AS. Mechanics is generally considered to be quite hard um, because it's not similar to anything studied at uh, GCSE. And decision is considered to be easy, but in my opinion, it's not, it's not as easy as people make it out to be. Um, so see what they offer at your school. Um, if they don't offer any flexibility, see if they're flexible to let you do an applied module you want to do. And the reason why I think this is so important is um, that it's worth a third of your AS mark. Um, so if potentially you 
screw up, say C2, um, M1 or S1 or D1 can be the extra marks that you need to end up passing the course. Um, but this is what I really wanted to talk about uh, when I was talking about going back to the, uh, getting up even to the A star grade at GCSE, and that is your algebra skills. You need to be so good at algebra to do well at AS Maths. Um, there are a few topics which are particularly um, important, and those are index notations in particular, but also stuff like factorising, uh, understanding the graphs of functions, uh, inequalities, those stuff, um, those things come up so much uh, in C1, and I always see people struggling uh, who got the B and the A at GCSE because they just they try and do C1 without actually having the skills necessary to um, answer the questions. So really consider, is your algebra good? Um, because the uh, A-double course is so heavily focused on algebra. It's also focused quite a lot on trigonometry. Um, so that's also something worth considering. Finally, I'm going to look at this category. Um, and that is, are you actually interested in maths? I started off by saying it's one of the most respected A-levels. But do you enjoy doing maths? If you do not enjoy it, don't pick A-level maths. It is the easiest thing to do, to just look at something, say you don't enjoy it, and just not do it. Because it will save you an entire year of hating your life, uh, getting results which aren't amazing, um, just to realise you could have done something you actually enjoyed and furthered your, your uh, knowledge of a subject you love. Um, Again, there's an exception. You don't need to love maths to the point where you don't know, read books about it. Um, but you need to enjoy, I think, the problem-solving aspect. I personally have no interest in maths in the sense that, if you care for how I word this, I have no interest in maths uh, in the sense that I enjoy learning about it, but I do have a real interest in problem-solving. So. If you enjoy um, getting things right, learning different methods of doing things, maths is a good A-level. If you don't like doing that, if you like, say, expressing yourself, expressing your opinions in particular, maths is, is not going to be that interesting. Uh, I particularly, someone who did um, three other essay subjects, found that maths was, um, wasn't as good because there's no opportunity to debate. Um, but that's just my personal preference. And finally, if you want to be really good at A-level maths, you need to be able to self-teach some things. Even if you have the most amazing teacher, there are going to be some topics which you might not get first time around. And rather than um, like bugging the teacher every time, you should be able to go home, open up the textbook and try and teach yourself. This is so good because it means that you will never ever get something wrong and just be helpless. And for maths in particular, there are so many different people who can help you. Hegarty Maths is one of the best websites uh, in terms of academics I've ever seen. Um, and that is because they are literally just his lessons uh, put online for every, everybody to see. You can do really well at maths by just using his videos. If Again, if you struggle to... I don't think struggle is the right, right, right word. But if you like people to... Um, work through questions with you. Maths might not be the best subject. Class sizes are generally speaking quite big, of course that would that would depend on um on your sixth form. But um class sizes are generally too big for teachers to spend a lot of time with each pupil. So it's so important that you're able to go home and uh, teach yourself things if you need to. I hope that this video has some somehow uh, been useful in helping you choose whether or not to do A level maths. Again, there's no, there's no shame in thinking, okay, I've got to be at GCSE. To be honest, I don't feel like self-teaching up to the A-star standard. And quite frankly, I don't like learning maths alone. I like being taught through it. Um, and then just deciding A-level maths isn't for me. It doesn't mean you're, you're any less able. It just means that maths as a subject isn't a good fit for you. Um, and I, I really think this is a decision if you are choosing maths. Uh, to take carefully. 
so many students take it and fail because they haven't thought about it. They just thought, I like, I like, I think I like maths, um, and also it's respected, so I'll do it. But that's not a good way of going about it. Um, so I hope this has been helpful, helpful again, and um, I hope to see you again next time.